So in the last video, I talked about the problems with Ayurveda and other alternative medicines. And I think there is an opposite side to that, that I need to talk about, that I must talk about. And that are those are the flaws with modern medicine. That's what this video is going to be on. The obvious flaws in modern medicine are that it costs too much. Sometimes the cost goes out of control. Insurance, if you don't have it, man, you will go broke just trying to get medical care. Wherever there is money, there is greed and corruption. So there's always some level of people being exploited either because the treatments are costly or the treatments are not easily accessible for people who don't have the financial means. And these are very clear flaws in modern medicine. Uh, I think the healthcare system must focus on trying to provide optimal healthcare to its citizens. A country's healthcare system should try and provide optimal healthcare to its citizens irrespective of what their financial means may be. And I'm aware of corrupt doctors, I'm aware of uh, corrupt medical systems, hospitals, sometimes, uh, you know, the pharma industry. Uh, vaccines, drugs, whatever. Sometimes they just, uh, you know, needlessly jack up the price to because because of capitalism, whatever. Irrespective of the fact that all these flaws exist, you cannot say that modern medicine is ineffective. I will agree that some people they may have experienced some really bad bad exploitation, either financial or accessibility wise at the hands of modern medicine and some people have a resentment because of that towards modern medicine and choose options like alternative medicine because of this kind of resentment but you have to remember the one thing you cannot find in modern medicine it's that medicines modern medicines are not ineffective they can only be marketed after they prove their effectiveness in a proper randomized controlled trial something that is absent in alternative medicines. While a lot of flaws do exist in modern healthcare, modern medicine, effectiveness is not one of them. If you ask me, I think effectiveness is the parameter that should come at the very top for medicine before you talk about, you know, things like accessibility, affordability, all these other avenues you should criticize it for. In terms of effectiveness, I don't think modern medicine has any flaw there. Medicines are legally only marketed if they have gone through a proper channel of randomized control, trial, proper testing and proper review. That is non-existent in alternative medicines. So. The way alternative medicine overcomes the flaws of modern medicine, that is affordability and accessibility, which are the major flaws in my opinion, the way it overcomes that is by compromising on effectiveness, the first one. So if you were to imagine a triangle, a pyramid of different factors every medicine should have, I'd say effectiveness comes on top, then affordability and then accessibility. And if you take care of the bottom two without taking care of the top part of the triangle, then what are you doing with that medicine, bro? You've immediately destroyed the whole triangle. It's become pointless. I think the government needs to be aware of this. And my guess is that they are aware of it. They're trying to save costs by promoting alternative medicines because it looks like the government is doing something but for the government it's something much cheaper what is it doing it at the cost of them public health it's the government is promoting alternative medicines at the cost of public health now if the government instead of throwing all its money at alternative medicines Instead of that, if the government were to solve affordability by subsidizing modern healthcare and accessibility, which again needs money, which needs funds, if it were to solve affordability by trying and providing modern healthcare at affordable subsidized rates in rural areas, then the same money which it throws into alternative medicine can be used in a proper manner by helping people have access and affordability for modern healthcare. That is something the government should do, in my opinion. And if you're trying to say that alternative healthcare systems are better, then it must come 
after showing that they are effective which no alternative medicine has ever done and i've done i've looked at so much done so much research on this topic i've never seen alternative medicine that is actually effective because you know what happens if it's effective people will flock to it such things will start becoming a part of modern healthcare such things will become something that is a known treatment for that medical condition which is something modern healthcare modern evidence based healthcare strives to do so that's it my criticism of alternative medicine is on its effectiveness and my criticism of modern healthcare is on affordability and accessibility and effectiveness is the most important criteria for any medicine i'll see you in the next one